Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showcasing another product. It's going to be a product review and this one came to me in the mail and it's very heavy. So let's see what they sent me. So we're going to open this. Ooh. It's a Terra Unpolished Heavy Granite Mortar and Pestle Set. Oh, I'm excited for this. Okay, so let's open this up. Okay, so the first thing we get on top here is the Terra base. And now this is a non-skid base that you would stick to the bottom of your mortar. Now it's optional. If you didn't want to put this, you don't have to, but I suggest because it can scrape up your surface since it's not polished. So let's go ahead and unbox this. And this seems like it's two pestles. Tell you that. We got a garlic peeler, so you put your garlic in here and then you rub it like this. It peels the garlic for you. And here is the mortar itself. It comes with one, so that's really good. So when this one goes through, you could always switch it out with your extra. So let me just give you guys a close-up. As I said, it's unpolished, it's not smooth, it has a very rough surface. You need to wash it before you use it because I can feel a lot of dust in there and on the outside. So I always suggest washing something before you use it. So let's open up the pestle. I'm glad that we got two pestles in that way if you wanted to um do two different things and not have to wash your pestle but if one breaks you always have an extra one and it's also made out of granite this feels a lot smoother than this so i guess you'll have a smooth surface together with a rough surface so that you can grind your seasonings so what i'm gonna do for you guys i'm gonna give this a wash and let me get some green seasoning together and let's use our mortar and pestle to grind that. So guys, before we get started with the mortar and pestle, let's try out the garlic peeler. So I'm gonna put two cloves of garlic in here. I just smashed them down just a little, just to help to release it a little bit. And now we're gonna roll it. Wow, that was pretty easy. So I'm just gonna be doing a small amount of seasonings for you guys. I'm gonna go in with two grains of garlic and using my pestle we're going to mash that up and it's working really well you guys can see that right so what I want to do now is tear in a few leaves of bandania or culantro in here and I'm gonna cut up one hot pepper in here also. Guys, when you grind seasoning like this, it just tastes so much better. And all we're gonna do is go ahead and mash that up. If you love using a Loran cell, you're going to love this. And that's it. Here we have some freshly grounded green seasoning, guys. This smells so much better than if we were to do this in a food processor or a blender. I wish you guys can smell this. If you've never used a Loha and a Sil to grind your seasoning on, you haven't tasted what fresh green seasoning tastes like. Forget about the food processor, forget about the blender. Using a mortar and pestle brings back those flavors and those scents of when my grandmother used to grind it on with on her still using her loha. The loha is a stone that's shaped like an oval and the sill is a big piece of stone that's flat and has a little bit of curved edges so that she would grind her green seasoning and stuff and she also did, did it with chana and dal for other recipes. This smells like heaven right now. And this is something that I recommend that everyone should have one of these. Now I know they bring these in wood and they have it in marble, but this one with the texture of the granite, it actually works really well. So if you guys would like to own one of these, 
Click that little down arrow next to the title of the video. The description box is going to open up and you'll be able to click on that link to make a purchase. So guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. And if you do make this purchase, leave me a comment down below and when you use it, let me know what you think. When you smell this seasoning, you're going to smell what long ago cooking used to be like at your grandmother's house. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!